My name is Conor McGregor and I live in Lucan. I'm a professional MMA fighter with a record of 4 and 1. Um, I'm an up and coming fighter and without a doubt you will see me on the UFC in the in near future. Without a doubt. My dream is to be world champion, world lightweight champion in the UFC. Have more money than I know what to do with. My dream is to be number one pretty much. My goal is num number one MMA. I will, I will be where I want to be. I, I, I'm, re, I'm 100% confident that I, that I will make it to the top. I have the skills, I have the dedication, and it's something I really, really want. So, words, words can't even describe, but it will happen, and I'll let you know when it happens. You know, when you're chasing your dream and when you're, when you're working hard, chasing something you love and. and um, and completely dedicated. It just it just happens. You don't you don't you can't really note notice it. You know, even still to this day, I'm in, a, in an amazing position in, in my life. You know? But I'm still I'm still working like I'm not. I'm still working like I'm not in this position. Absolutely. I'm still working like none of this is even. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's I just agree. it's just something I look at you and I just keep pushing, keep working hard. I can't pinpoint an exact moment for you, but yep. If, if anything, I always felt like. It was happening way back then, and, and now it is happening, but now I almost feel like it's not happening. You know what I mean? And I want to I push to, to something else. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm always striving to push forward. Do I look unhealthy? Take a look at this physique. I'm in phenomenal shape, in body and mind. People say a loss can make or break a fighter, but trust me, a win can also make or break a fighter. I mean, if you can see it here, and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. Nobody works harder than me inside the octagon, outside the octagon. I am a workhorse. I knew what was going to happen. I knew I was going to get here. They didn't. There's a lot of stressful years. You know what I mean? A lot of tough times. Every gym had a set way of doing things. Don't do it this way, do it that way. I always felt grateful for even the small things. I always used to celebrate the small things. And I slipped a punch. And I, I, and I shuffled my shoulders and said, Muhammad Ali, <laughs> and threw a shot. People set like goals. Long distance goals and shit, that's too much for me. I appreciate the support of all the fans out here and all over the world. I never take it for granted, I, I use it as a motivation, so. You stare at your past and you'll end up staying there. It's okay to look back and admire it, but you carry on. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in the business of staring, staring back at it. You know what I mean, I'm getting lost back there. People say you can, people say a loss can make or break a fighter. But trust me, a win can also make or break a fighter because they get comfortable with a, with a win. People can get comfortable with a, with a win. And, and, and slack off then. Slack off on the training, slack off on the diet. They've won one. They're winners now. That's not me, you know. You sleep on a, you sleep on a win and you'll wake up with a loss. So I just carry on. Keep doing what I'm doing. It's in my head 24 seven. There's nothing else I can think of. I don't, I don't think about nothing else. If, if, let's see, I'm just curious. Curiously fascinated with it, and I can't stop thinking about it. Everything I do in my life is is related to this. I don't do nothing else if it's not got to do with fighting. You know what I mean? And that that, that is why. You know what I mean? To, to be true, is that up, nearly, all, all you've got to do is show up. Is that not unhealthy? Um, I don't know. Do I look unhealthy? Take a look at this physique. I'm in phenomenal shape in body and mind. To me, what's unhealthy is living an unhealthy life. To me, what's unhealthy is getting up and going through the same day, every day of your life, nine to five, in an office or in a, you know, that, that's unhealthy. That beats your mind. I don't, I don't work. I, what do I, I love what I do. And that's why I'm doing what I love. You know what I mean? That's why, that's why it's become a career for me because I love it. I love what I do. So I don't think it's unhealthy. I, I, I feel good in my mind. You know I mean, it's, it's, my, it's my life. It's just about commitment, that's it. Just commit and just do what you know you need to do, and that's it. So, tonight's my night, but I'm no different than that. Uh, you know what I mean? All I did was just put in the work, and that's it. So, uh, if, any, if each one of us put in the work that we know we should do, we know what the work is we need to do, it's just sometimes you don't do it. It's just about commitment, that's it. You put in the work, you'll, re you'll reap the rewards. There's no, there's no secret sauce to this. Recognize what you need to do and fucking do it and you will succeed.